and I'm trying. I'm trying not to be that girl that I always been because I'm fighting demons. And I'm, huh? Sorry, I think it's gonna be me. No, I'm talking. I'm trying not to be the person to run to the internet because people said that's all I do. But fuck it, it's who I am. I don't give a fuck about nothing. I'm sorry. Hey, family, how are you? I'm trying to be a better person in life. I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to be better. I'm in a great space. I swear I'm in a one. God is good. I'm blessed. And I'm trying not to entertain the shenanigans. But you, if you know me, you know I don't do this for the internet. I don't do this for the money. I don't do this for the views. I do this because this has been my diary since day one. Before I was even getting paid. To, I'm a little tipsy. Am I? No. Before I was even getting paid to do this, this has been who I am as a person, right? Everybody knew that Alyssa went to go stay with her dad because I moved to Jersey and, you know, it was just, she didn't want to leave school because it was her last year. I, I, I. I was telling Alyssa, I don't think it's a good idea. Not that her father is a horrible ass person. My daughter's 16 years old. He ain't been a father. You can't do what you don't know and you don't know what you haven't been taught. I, a mother just knows, my nigga. If there was anything that I can take away from when my mother was alive, she just knew because a mother just knows. It's like a superpower you have. A mother just knows. When your mother say don't leave the house, don't leave the house. When your mother say that's not your friend, that's not your friend. When your mother say it don't feel right, don't go, don't go. A mother just knows. I kept telling Alyssa, this ain't going to end well. It ain't going to end well. It ain't going to end well. And every time I said it, I sound like a hater. But yet, I'm getting phone calls. Are you calls sure like that it. you safe? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not trying to be nosy, but I know that your dad is going to take up for you. And honestly. Hello? Now, at the end of the day, I know Alyssa's dad. And I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be that girl. I'd be like, I know that nigga. I know that nigga. That's been my best friend since I was 15 years old. You understand me? I know Alyssa's dad like the back of my hand because we grew up together. Okay? So I know how Alyssa's father is. Alyssa's dad is a great dad. But he cannot do what he doesn't know. He don't know how to parent that child full time. And even though it's not him, his counterpart, she's a bit, she's a female dog. And at the end of the day, this lady, this little girl has always shown her true colors. No matter, listen, you are who you are, Buki. Can't nobody take that from you. You could, you could pretend to be whatever you want to be, but your true colors going to always come to light and you've always been messy. From day one, you get into it with his friends and his family every chance you get because you're a messy person. It's on your heart. It's who you are as a person. And like I said in that video, one thing about a female, when a kid comes in the in, in terms with, I don't, I don't care if it's a dog, if it's a pet. When somebody has been used to getting your love and undivided attention for so long, especially when you have a child with them and they're only used to you loving on that child, when they see anything different, it's going to interrupt their spirit because they're not a true and genuine person. You hear me? That's why when my daughter was little, no, she can't come around you because I know what it is. You could talk to me from three seconds and I know, I don't, I don't feel your energy. I know you somebody that I would never want in my presence and never want to be around my children. But kids really got to learn the hard way. They got to learn for themselves. Alyssa, you a hater, mommy. You don't know, you don't know, you don't know. You. I hate to be a I told you so. I told you so. It's because I know. Hold on. Um, but you safe, right? You okay? Yeah. Hold on, let me put it on there. This Uber about to be a hundred thousand dollars. Uber is a hundred and ninety-three dollars. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. If you ever go back, I, this will be the first ass whooping you think you get and you won't get it. Um, hold on. Faith, this is a bad time. You alright? 
Why yes. is it a bad time? Your sister's in a crisis right now. What crisis? I'll talk to you about it when we're done. Can you step away, please, baby? I don't Get want you to be me. exposed to this. Get <laughs> Faith, can you fight? I don't know. Right, it ain't even my pocket. This shit is crazy. <laughs> what? Is crazy you oh. At the back. oh my god. Oh. My God. Is this shit but I still have 20%. Well, you got 20%. Come on. Babe, this shit ain't. This is crazy. I should make a hitchhike. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 I listen, you laughing. You know what? Any other. No, no shit. Y'all get out. Any other parent would have said, this is something you need to go through. Because, girl, you got to go for sure. Yeah. Ooh, like they said, get out. Yeah. No. Well, that ain't sure. Mm -hmm. Your dad know you leaving? Yeah, I'ma beat his ass when he pick up that phone. Wait, what happened? Okay. Babe, shut up. What happened? You want to know everything. Cause Not you're your leaving me out. That's my sister. Well, ask her when she get here. Boo child. Yeah, I'm trying to. Shit, my hand's shaking. What? Uber cost so much. Not today. I don't know why this thing not working. This is pissing me off. Okay. Oh my God, just yes. put this for me. Stay on the phone with me till the Uber get here. Cause this is so crazy, man. Alyssa, you ain't if you go back, tell I'm calling the police on you. I'm gonna have wait, to wait, wait. You getting it ready? Yeah, you have a discount. Me, well, I don't want Alyssa, you to get the bread. And then they still charge you for tolls. This shit crazy, bro. Alyssa. You better have got everything because you ain't going back. Mommy, I did. I got everything. Where you at? Because I called his phone. Hello? Hello? Kyra, y'all stop jumping around. Cause I don't know if she had me on mute or she not. Had me Cause on I'm mute not playing. like, ah, oh, don't give me that phone. <laughs> <laughs> right, cause I done called that nigga phone eight times and he didn't pick up. I ain't playing. Oh, oh, huh? is that the right number, Kayla? I know I paid that bill. That I probably <laughs> dumped that Uber money in my account when the next. <laughs> don't jinx it. Mommy. <laughs> no, for real. Yeah. Why is that yeah. The wireless customer you are calling is a cool FaceTime video. Did they check? Oh. oh. Hello? Yeah. What happened to the phone? I got an elevator. Oh. Your father with you? Yeah, he could hear you. Oh, because I was calling his phone and he don't answer. He ain't answer. Because I ain't got time for stuff like this. Nah, uh, for real, that shit got me pissed the fuck off, that man. I'm pissed off. Because this don't make no sense. No sense at all. She ain't coming back. Damn it, I got to tell the girl that. Yeah, she ain't coming back there. Absolutely not. I'm lost for words. I'm flabber fucking gassed it. I'm lost for words. Think about a female when they're used to a certain system. She used to you only being a parent. She used to you only loving her. So the moment anybody else gets that attention, it's a problem. I don't care how big or how small, it's gonna be a problem. And that's sickening and that's sad. And that speaks values of who she is as a person. Because at the end of the day, that's your child. What? So it's it's sad, and that's always going to be the case. It's going to be like that when it comes to your mom, your cousin, your uncles, your aunt. Anybody who's a priority over her, she's going to feel some type of way. And it's disgusting behavior. But she only get one time and one time only to play with mine. She ain't never coming back there again. And that's on period. Let me see where that Uber is. I'm, I'm getting kicked out as well. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Jersey has been good to me. I've had zero complaints thus far, right? I'm happy. 
I, I don't know anything much about Jersey. I haven't even, I won't lie to you and say I'm learning because I'm not. I haven't reached that point yet, right? But y'all pissed me off today. I, 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 <laughs> Let me tell you how y'all done pissed me off today. I said, I need a meat market. You know, y'all know I like to buy my meat market. I used to send a listen to the meat market. She come back, hundred dollars. Y'all, y'all always seen my meat market videos. We driving, I see a meat market. I go on the meat market. I'm like, oh, okay, nice, beautiful, clean, fresh looking meat. I mean, perfect. They had a hundred dollar meat plan. I always get a hundred dollar meat plan. I said, let me get that. Look what these people gave me. Mind you, I should have known something was up because I, you pick the meat plan, they pack it, you pay for it, you take it. Look at this. I wanted to show y'all this. One, two, three turkey wings. Four chicken wings. Four chicken wings. One, two, three, four chicken legs. I'm about to cook this now because you gotta look at this. About a good two, four, six, eight, about a good 10 small oxtails. They gave me four pieces of pork. I'm gonna have to cook both of those together. And they gave me margarine, $100. I'm gonna have to put all this meat into one pot to feed my family. I'm gonna cook chicken, turkey, ox a lot. Cause that's when you mix chicken, turkey, and oxtails in one pot. That's the name of it, chicken, turkey, ox a lot. That's the only way I'm feeding my family of seven with all that. How y'all gonna give me this little bit of meat? and charge me a hundred buckaroos. Y'all got me real angry, Jersey. If y'all know somewhere I could go in Jersey to get some meat, let me know. I am about, I am about to get out the house because I don't see the light of day. So I'm about to go get some little ins and odds. Let me tell you another thing I have learned. So y'all know where I'm from, we don't got no Walmart. A lot of people get this confused. They think we have a Walmart in New York City. New York City will never allow us to have a Walmart because we have too many mom and pop stores. And if we get a Walmart, they will put all of the mom and pop stores out of business. There is a Walmart in Long Island. Long Island is not a part of the five boroughs that make up New York City. So for the people saying, there's one in New York City. There will never be a Walmart in New York City. It's Long Island that is not Queens. Is it close to Queens? Yes, but it's not. Anywho, I was never traveling from Brooklyn all the way to Long Island to go to Walmart. But now that I am travel distance from a Walmart, y'all, if you've been here for a minute, you know me. I get hype over Walmart because it's something I'm not used to. Y'all used to it. Let me tell you some things I may learn. Correct me if I'm wrong because I'm still new to this. Walmart is ghetto. I didn't know it was ghetto. How could I know it's ghetto? I don't have one. I didn't go there. Walmart is ghetto. Target would never. Okay? It's hella ghetto. And what's up with the lines? Why is the lines all the way down there? Is all the cash with? Did, 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 did they quit? There's no more cashiers in there? Self-checkout around the corner. I say, yeah, you gotta be in a mood to come to Walmart. That's what it gotta be. Cause um, mm, it ain't happening. I'm learning what y'all told me about a while back about the produce. I used to be mad hyped to go get my stuff from Walmart. The produce ain't that great. It don't be given. So I gotta figure out my life. If you guys have any Jersey suggestions now that I am a part of Jersey, let me know where I need to go to get the goods. Let me know what mall I need to go to. Let me know where I need to go to get my nails done because I got this done in North Carolina. Like, I'm just like trapped in a bubble and I ain't leave yet. And I'm very content with being in the house because y'all know I finally got a house and, and I'm so happy and overzealous. As soon as I got the house, I'm on vacation. So it's been like a lot. I, I, I've been excited. 
But um, please help me out. Let me know where I need to go. Y'all know what's another thing that has been taking some adjusting. Y'all know I'm transparent. I'm never going to lie to y'all. I'm never going to fake the funk. I used to live like two blocks, three blocks away from Carter's dad. So I used to get a break often. Now being in Jersey, I don't. I'm unsure if his dad thinks because I'm in Jersey and I'm the one who moved that I am the one who is supposed to keep running to New York City, but that's not going to happen at all. Every time his dad has seen him is because I have physically dropped him to his dwelling and picked him up. That is too, I have to ride to Brooklyn, which is an hour and 54 minutes to go to Brooklyn drop him drive an hour and 54 minutes back to jersey drive an hour and 54 minutes back to new york to pick him up drive an hour and 54 minutes back to when you can get on the bus and i can meet you halfway or you can take the train and i can meet you halfway because sure s-h-i-t that's what the judge is going to tell you to do my problem is i'm really really too nice i'm really really too nice i'm so nice that all my baby daddy's taking my jokes and i say all because i got a lot don't be like me, be better than me. And if you love me as much as I love you, and if you mess with me as much as I mess with you, you'll notice that I haven't posted in four days. And as always, you know, I'm gonna tell y'all T, I I haven't posted because I've been working. Let me tell y'all something. There was this, this older lady, if you wanna chime in the comment section, you can. I, I, I love the way she spoke to me. I, it ain't what you say, is how you say it. And I love the advice she gave me that's caught a bugging in the background. And she said, Jazzy, you just made a big transition in life. That rent has skyrocketed in life. What I want you to do, and this is coming from somebody much older than you, and I've been where you are, you might want to go do whatever you need to do to save up at least three, four months of rent in case of an emergency. I said, ma'am, say less. So I've been working, y'all. I've been working and working and working to make sure that this bank account has at least three or four months of rent in it. And I could sit that in savings. And I'm not speaking bad or whatever, whatever. But I think it's just like a precautionary measure. So I'm happy, you know, she put that battery in my back. And that's what I've been doing. I'm almost to my goal. You guys may see two promos coming. Interact with them for me, friend. I love you. That's how I get my money on. That's how I get the big money on. So, when you see promos on the channel, it's because I got paid a pointage. Also, it's because the product is good. Because I don't care how much you pay me. My integrity and y'all mean more to me than any amount of money. So, if I'm promoting it, bets to believe it's good. Because I have a closet full of products that's horrible that's getting shipped right back. Because I don't care how much you send me, I'm never going to tell my audience, this is good, buy it. No, not me. Sorry. If, I, if you want me to get here and tell them it's shitty, I will. But other than that, no. So, when you see a promo, one is because I got paid. Two, it's because it's really, really a great, great product. And I highly recommend it. So, you might see a couple, maybe two. One or two coming, maybe three. <laughs> the money has been secured. So, I just want to let y'all know. So, I'm about to see what I can get into in these Jersey streets. I'm going to go try to see if I can find a Burlington. I have a couple things I want to get together, like this rug. This rug, first of all, I'm pissed off. Because the guy in the furniture store, oh, the rug need to be this side. Da, 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 da. This nigga done gave me a bathroom mat. Look how small this rug is compared to this couch. It's been pissing me off. So I want to go find me a rug. And rugs are very, very expensive nowadays. So I'm going to go to Burlington or Marshalls because they always got the good rugs for decent prices. I paid $100 plus tax for this tiny 5 by 7 rug. And with this room size, I think I need like maybe an eight by 10 or something like that. Cause I don't want it to cover the whole floor, but I do want it to at least cover like, like go out more to cover the circumference of the entire cap. This is a childish rug. It's very childish. I feel like it's, it's pissing me off. And a lot of people say something about the dining room table. Y'all tell me to pull it out. I record a lot of content and the kids run back and forth. That's why I have it in the corner. And as aesthetic as I want to be, my kids having enough room to run around and not bust their head on the table means more to me. And y'all said put a rug under it. Kaisha said absolutely not because we have kids and they ain't going to do nothing but mess up the rug. I, I wanted the rug under the table, but she said no. What you want? What you want? 
You want waffles? Your sister in the kitchen, tell her to make you waffles. But yeah, so I love y'all. I see y'all until next time. We back vlogging on regular schedule. I vlog in real time. Look at it. It is August 1st. I don't know when you seeing this, but you should be seeing it on August 1st because I vlog in real time. I love you. I adore you. I miss you, family. And until next time. I'm Jazzy and family. Okay.